All right, everybody, this is a quick good to know for Unreal. This is actually to help you set up your distortion effect on something like a distortion ring. Uh, you might have actually seen online on like some other YouTube or uh, other online locations setting up something like a ring for like, I don't know, a water ripple or maybe a banshee scream effect for like uh, gameplay ability. I don't know, something like that. But you want to actually just use this as like uh, a baseline for your distortion. So you might have actually created a material similar to this with like, you know, your texture, your particle colors, uh, these multiplying into each other. But then also the uh, actual mask of this uh, white uh, ring texture into the alpha and multiplying that into the refraction. But you're probably asking yourself, why is the refraction disabled in... Unreal 5 uh, by default. Well, that's because the refraction is actually a little bit expensive and it's uh, disabled by default and you can actually enable it by typing in uh, first click anywhere on your material in the grid and then type in refract. And you can actually see here from refraction method it is set to none. Now uh, generic way is actually setting up like an index of refraction and when you actually enable that and apply that well that's strange because I can actually sort of see that right now on my texture here. You can see there's actual reflection or refraction, I should say, that's going on here, uh, but not on my actual uh, my actual Niagara system that I've actually set up here uh, prior to. And the reason for that is uh, you might actually run into a weirdness where it's actually not. Uh, using the index of refraction because it needs actually a spherical map for the Niagara system. So in order to get that actually to work, right, so I can go to type in generate and there is actually a parameter here called uh, generate a spherical uh, particle normals, right? And then when I actually enable that and turn that on, Whoa, all right, <laughs> we, uh, we have some massive distortion going on here. And this is where uh, some of the other uh, tutorials online actually had a Fresnel to actually take this into account. So I can actually take that as the exponent in, uh, as well as like a parameter here, base reflect re uh, fraction index, and then actually put that into my refraction, right? So if you actually uh, now apply this, hooray, look at that. It now actually works. So there, this, uh, you can actually set it up this way, but it is a little bit more expensive than uh, possibly what is needed in order to get like a basic, um, you know, refraction on the actual particle uh, effect itself. So there is one way in here. Let me actually move this out of the way. And instead of actually using a Fresnel on this, right, I can actually break that. And well, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so the actual refraction index itself, what I can do uh, is actually instead, uh, and also I can actually turn off generate spherical particle normals for this. I turn that off. What I can do is actually change the refraction method, oops, refraction method to a 2D offset. Now if I apply that, hey, check it out, it actually works. So this actually uh, doesn't take the Fresnel into account, but if you wanted to, you can actually pipe that in. And you're not actually generating the spherical normals as well. Uh, so you can see here, now that I don't have the spherical normals, and actually what I'm trying to do with this exponent in and piping in my Fresnel, I now need to kind of re-multiply my uh, actual mask onto it in order for this to work. So now that I apply that, hey, check it out. Now my Fresnel actually works. So now I can actually go into my material instance and play with my Fresnel, you know, kind of as I see fit. So yeah, that's uh, something interesting for you guys. Now there's actually another um, refraction setup that you can actually try. It is the pixel normal offset, but uh, that requires you to perturb your normals and then set it up so that it works with the camera. Uh, but that gets a lot more complicated than probably what you're after, and that goes beyond the scope of this video. But this should get you guys going. So remember the refraction method. Uh, you can do index of refraction, but make sure you're generating your uh, spherical normals for your Niagara system, or just go with the 2D offset, and then it just takes the actual height map 
of the mask of whatever you're uh, piping in, and it should work. All right, cool. Happy developing with Unreal, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.